a rising Missouri River and people in those communities obviously don't want to see them underwater. KCTV 5's Nathan Vickers reports from Atchison where the flood came dangerously close to a local landmark. The worst is over in Atchison. Now that the water has started receding, I'm definitely feeling a lot better about our position. The levee breach on the Missouri side kept the water from flooding the old train town. But over the past few days, many in the city have called to ask about one particular place along the water's edge. You don't see a lot of buildings like that around. A small white cottage along the railroad tracks just before the train bridge. It's just a beautiful little old building with uh, a lot of gingerbread on it. Jackie Prejean says the railroad once used it to house the operator who opened the bridge bridge for barge traffic. You refer to it as a bridge tender's house. Robert Williams remembers watching it turn as a kid. There's a turntable. But today barges no longer pass through. It's all part of the railroad history here in town. The floodwater just barely reached the foundation of the house and while the city doesn't expect it to get much higher, saving this building could be a race against time for another reason. We just really don't want it to to fall apart. Prejean is president of the city's Chamber of Commerce, which is trying to obtain the building from BNSF and Union Pacific Railroads to transport across town to a local museum. This little bridge tender is a huge part of our history. It'll likely require asbestos removal and a fresh coat of paint. We want to preserve it in any way we can. But people here hope it's never forgotten. In Atchison, Nathan Vickers, KCTV 5 News.